I'm here on a family trip with 19 other people in this Airbnb. We're actually just crammed in there together. It's a pretty big house, but still 20 people in a house is a lot. And so I'm sneaking out to the back here to do a video for you. <laughs> Oftentimes you will think I need to upgrade the speaker of my radio. This could be a mobile radio, like in your vehicle, or it could be an HF radio in your home on your desktop or whatever. And so we're gonna test two. These are both OPEC speakers. We got the 725. This is very inexpensive, like 20 bucks. And then we have the Kamu speaker, which is a little bit more. This is toward $30. I'll overlay prices so that I'm accurate because prices change all the time. And then we've got the outstanding speaker on the new 7300 Mark II. And we're gonna use that as a benchmark. This is a simple test using just the ambient noise coming out of the radio and the speakers. I'm gonna put my portable recorder here on record and I'm gonna turn the volume so that we're at about negative six dB that this, he that this recorder can hear. We're gonna do that on the radio and then the speakers. And here is with the Kamu speaker. This speaker has a noise filter. Let's engage it. And here is the 725 series communication speaker. Let's see the maximum volume output on these speakers. We are using the mic on the, the phone now. It's aggressive on my ears. Let's just hear the 7300. Max volume. Thank you. Now, the speaker is not firing at us, but if you put your hand on top. Sounds better, but it's not as loud. Now, let's go back to the Kamu speaker. This has a magnet, which is actually very useful. I, I thought that was great. Uh, magnet, connect it. Okay, and we'll go max volume here. Oh, wow, that's punchy. Oh, it's hurting my ears. Let's see the noise filter. It does have a mute button, which is pretty handy. That's actually pretty nice. Whoa, that is uh, aggressive. Anyway, so there's a, a bit of a comparison. Happy New Year, Mark. I'm back to you. LU1 Juliet Hotel Denmark 27TTZ. Now, just to tie up the video, uh, I have used these OPEC, or at least uh, it was the manufacturer who had this style of speaker before. It's actually, I have two of these in my Go box. 
These OPEC ones, though, seem to be the same manufacturer. I think this is like a Chinese, you know, Chinese manufacturer with a rebrand to the OPEC brand. Uh, I've not used this Kamu speaker before, but this has existed in different capacities, similar uh, with now this OPEC branding. Most of the time, these are good for like a go box. I would put this in a go box and I would be pretty happy with it because when the radio's in a go box and this front, the top firing speaker's blasting inside the box and echoing, it's not really that helpful. But if you mount the speaker like on a rack or something like that on a shelf and point it forward, then that works really well. So that's kind of exactly how I have this set up in a go box. This guy though, um, I would use this at like a home station. Uh, maybe if you have a radio that you've remoted like a SDR of some kind like a Hermes light this would be kind of a cool speaker to use with something like that the the reason though is I love this little magnet I think that is a I think that's kind of a game changer with a lot of this stuff because in the shack you've always got something metal or you can bolt a little plate on the wall and then you can shove this up against it I, I found no value in the noise filter in my time using it I, I did a little bit of portable operations with this uh, this week here at the cabin but I did like the mute and this mute function gives you a negative 8 dB, so it just quiets it enough that when you're on regular volume, so I would listen at about this volume, and if I hit the mute, nice. I don't think it's necessary, but it's nice. I think this is about 30 bucks, again, I'll overlay to make sure I'm, I'm correct here. But if you have, again, a radio in a shack or it's, it's buried away somewhere, or perhaps it's a mobile radio in your car and you've got the speaker under a seat somewhere, this would be really nice. It, I'm thinking of a perfect use case for this is in my truck where I've got that arm that comes off of the headrest. Mounting this right there on that arm would be perfect. So anyway, I thought I'd make a quick video to talk about audio differences because I've been playing around a lot with audio in the new 7300 and I did want to show off how good I think the audio is coming out of this. So you hearing it on the recorder, which is obviously below the top firing speaker and you could hopefully hear the quality. And I probably went back and forth between the iPhone and this for a speaker kind of sound. So again, this is just real world stuff. This radio is a very good, just put your hands on it and go to work kind of thing. And it sounds, it sounds great. So anyway, that's it for me, Josh KI6NAZ 73.